The leftist Workers' Party, PT, was defeated in the second round of Brazil's presidential election, but it won the biggest number of seats in the Chamber of Deputies, 56 of the 513 representatives. The party has vowed a staunch opposition to far-right President Jair Bolsonaro, but in a parliament fragmented among 30 parties, it needs allies. Our main task at this stage of Brazil's political life is to defend democracy and the political, social and economic rights of the population. And this goes much beyond the PT. To defend democracy, we need to form a very wide front, and not only in the left wing, but also with centrist forces who may want to join. Não só de esquerda, inclusive. Todos aqueles setores, mesmo de centro, que queiram somar conosco. Of course, in terms of the PT, the main opposition party, uh, we have no doubt that PT will be a very clear-cut opposition against Bolsonaro. In terms of the other parties, like the Labour Democratic Party of Ciro Gomes or the Socialist Party, they perhaps will try to present themselves as a more moderate opposition, but in terms of the roll call votes, in terms of their uh, congressional legislative behavior, they work in a very similar way to the more radical opposition. Some of Bolsonaro's radical views could also run into opposition in sectors of center and even center-right parties, like Brazil's Social Democratic Party, PSDB. Former São Paulo governor Alberto Goldman, one of the party's most vocal critics of Bolsonaro, says a split in the PSDB cannot be ruled out. I think this rash already exists. It's not... I think there is already a split in practice that has just not been formalized. Many political figures of our party have already been announcing their support for the government, but for now, in a personal capacity, the party itself doesn't have a clear path yet. Opposition to Jair Bolsonaro will not be limited to political parties. Leftist social and activist movements, often antagonized by the former captain, already promised to resist the new administration. The Landless Workers' Movement is one of them. It's a militant group that occupies private but unused farmland for distribution to landless peasants. During the campaign, Jair Bolsonaro said he would seek legislation to deem such occupations terrorism and vowed to oppose all kinds of activism in Brazil. This is a neo-fascist government which is opposing and trying to criminalize the left wing and the popular activist movements. I have no doubt there will be resistance. Student organizations, for example, will resist and also the landless and homeless movements and trade unions. Bolsonaro achieved a clear victory in the presidential election in a deeply polarized political environment despite running an anti-establishment campaign with only the support of small political parties. The opposition is vocal. The coming months will reveal whether it's also strong enough to block the new president from implementing his controversial agenda. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.